Hello everybody! Sorry for the slightly late start today, but uh, Nintendo had a show thing on, and I felt like there wasn't a lot of point streaming at the same time as Nintendo. So we're gonna just gonna jump straight into it. Because I believe we have a lot to do today, including our first day having access to the island. Afraid not, Jelly Tots. Uh, I'm on emulator right now. Uh, there might be a day in the future where I'd be able to do multiplayer, but right now I can't access the Nintendo servers, so... Just by myself. I do indeed have a crazy red painting. Thank you for reminding me. And thank you for the follow, Jelly Tots. And for the host as well. So these are the items we picked up yesterday. Gonna give my uh, flower a quick water. I think that's my hybrid. Let's not let that die. Oh, I actually need to open the presents before I store them. That would be a good idea. So there's the jungle wall. The jungle floor. A beautiful statue. And an exotic chair. Let's try and stick the exotic chair down, see if that fits in the room at all. Uh, maybe it doesn't match this room, but I'll keep hold of it. It's a nice piece of furniture. Uh, that's not the exotic chair, that's the statue. And we'll throw those in there as well for now. So I'm going to quickly run through my daily tasks. And then I'm going to hop down to the dock because I believe we have access to the island for the first time. Which means I've got plenty to do in terms of catching new fish. And new insects. I can also say hello to Amelia. Oh, Katrina's in town too. Always worth talking to Katrina. Let's do that first then. What do you got for me, Katrina? Hey, Animal Crossing! Thanks for coming on back. Tis the age of eco this and recycle that. Tears soak the pillows of young twins who see residents holding off on new purchases. From this place I can see the signs. Oh yes I can. I see disaster upon your wallet. How very true, Nintendo just had a live stream. T-shirt. This item will be the key to narrowly avoiding impending disaster. Hang on, if I have to buy a t-shirt, doesn't that mean that my wallet is in even greater danger? Remember the bad times are just times that are bad. Thanks Katrina for your eternal wisdom. Ah, 
uh, to be honest, like only a few of the indie games actually looked like stuff I would get because most of the ones that was like, ooh, that looks interesting, I can already play on PC. That's the way it goes with most of the indie games on the Nintendo Switch. There were some nice ones there though. Uh, right now, I can't let people visit because I'm on emulator. Um, but I'm working out a way, hopefully, that I can still uh, stream to Twitch while running off my 3DS. And in that case, people could join me. So it's not available yet, but I'm hoping that in the future that might be a thing. It depends on how well my Wi-Fi wants to play around with my uh, capture software. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see that hole until I walked into it. I was trying out earlier today, I can get uh, a reasonable video off my 3DS directly using some homebrew software, um, but it runs at about 25 frames per second and sometimes looked really horrible. So it might just be on certain days I'll sacrifice visual quality for the ability for people to come visit and play some games and stuff. We'll have to see what happens. And uh, I believe this is Crackle. Yep, Crackle was the villager chosen yesterday by viewers. And I'll probably do something similar today and have some sort of vote or competition to uh, choose our next villager to move in using Amiibos. I've been using a KitKat for the streaming option because that was the first one I found. Runs okay, <laughs> but not exactly smooth right now. But that's possibly more to do with my Wi-Fi than anything else. You're hungry, Moose. You're always hungry. It might not be every stream, Webs. Uh, at least until we filled the village, though, we might as well keep doing it because a new person's going to move in anyway. Uh, hello to new people coming in. I can see the view count slowly climbing. Feel free to drop a hello in chat. Be nice to talk. I don't think I have that insect. Where do you go? No. It actually happened. Didn't I say yesterday that if I hit enough balloons with my net, I'd end up getting the silver slingshot before I got a normal slingshot? I did not expect that to actually be possible. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, we'll definitely be hitting that one out of the sky. Well, it's going to take a while to get over there, so I'll quickly have a look around for fossils up here before we skedaddle down and get our extra slingshot without needing to pay for it. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's your idea, Animal Crossing? <laughs> Is it going to be another mouse? I hope it's not another mouse. I might have to veto that. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. I don't really want to do too much in case I miss that <laughs> balloon going across, so... I'm just gonna wait. Down here at least, so I can see it go over my head. I'm not gonna go in there either, because it might despawn it. Well, I'm trying to hunt around for my last fossil, but I'm assuming it's not down in this corner. True, butterflies would let me keep the net out, so maybe that's the way to go. Okay, it's already made it most of the way over. Uh, so for folks who weren't here yesterday, as the message on the video says, uh, hopefully you can see a widget down below the video if you're on desktop that will let you vote on uh, the game that I'm going to play on Friday. Uh, I will be doing a tiny bit of Animal Crossing just to get my dailies out of the way, but then I'm going to switch it over. Uh, your choices are Pokemon X, uh, A Link Between Worlds, Fantasy Life, and Happy Home Designer. So one of those I'll be starting on Friday, and that'll probably be a twice a week kind of thing, just to break it up from doing New Leaf all the time. I think when I started the stream there were four votes and it was tied between Zelda and Happy Home Designer, so if you've got a strong opinion on either of those games, make sure you have a look at the poll and give me a vote. Okay, just gonna start swacking here and hope. Come on. Yeah! Give me that silver slingshot without ever using a normal slingshot. <laughs> Apparently so, at least when you're doing a lot of fishing in the beach. Yeah, there we go. We've got a proper slingshot now. Now we don't have to chase after balloons. And it fires two bullets. Okay, one more quick swing around for the extra fossil. And then I'll get the uh, high street stuff out of the way, and then I'll go over to the island and start hunting some summer fish and summer insects. Oh yeah, we also enacted our Keep Pinewood Beautiful ordinance, so no more wilting hybrids, please. Oh yeah, I thought I'd watered that one. I guess I didn't. Um, I think they'd automatically get watered at the end of the day anyway, now that we're a beautiful town. Certainly we won't get any new uh, wilted ones after today. Only way flowers can die is if I run over them too much. Hey Panic Nymph! Nice to see you. How's everyone's day been going? Were you all watching the Nintendo stream beforehand? That's true. And yet you're still here with me. <laughs> uh, is this Amelia's house? She's really breaking out with the roses, yeah. Good job, Amelia. You're good at um, gardening, apparently. We got another fossil hidden behind a tree somewhere. Fossil, fossil, fossil. Mm. 
Nope. Ah, there he is. He was <laughs> right on the cliff side. No wonder I didn't see him the first time. While I'm down here, it's probably worth checking to see if um, we've actually got a boat to get onto the island. Yeah, we do. That's good. Yeah, my my patterns are so that none of the villagers will actually move to this area because I wanted to try and keep them to the lower half of this side. Unfortunately, most of them have decided to move to the north anyway because I missed a couple spots, but as they move in and out, it'll work itself out. We can also say hello to our first new villager. Actually, second new villager. Mo's already here as well. It's Kit Kat. <laughs> Thanks, Panic Nymph. It wasn't my idea at all. Uh, that was something I got from Simply Press Start, one of her video tutorials. But yeah, if you, if you make little 3x3 three three squares and then make sure that you've got patterns down everywhere else so there isn't a 3x3 three three square, then they can only move into those spots. You've still got to do a bit of save file manipulation if you want them in a specific place. But it's a lot easier to do it this way. So for example, I missed this spot here and then Mo moved in in this awkward place. So I filled that one in, filled in a couple of other places I hadn't spotted, but now it's all nice and neat. I'm going to do what I usually do and stick my watering can in my pockets because I shouldn't need to do a lot of watering after today because we've got a beautiful town. Uh, Tama606, thank you for the follow and for the host. You've put us up to 40 followers. Thank you very much. Assess my fossils, brothers. Not a euphemism. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I was wondering what happened to my alert for <laughs> Tama 606. Thank you very much, Tama. It is pretty cool getting to collect dinosaur parts. Don't get to do that in real life. Unless you get very lucky. I did actually have a couple fossils that I had collected when I was a younger Paul. Uh, I went to the Isle of Wight and they have a few beaches there that are pretty much riddled with fossils just because it's uh, down on the south coast. Oh, nice. Purple roses look great. I don't know what I've done with my old fossils, though. I think they probably have been lost or thrown away. They weren't, like, very exciting. It was just a few, like, small helix uh, imprints on a very rough-looking petal. Petal? No. Pebble. Uh, it's probably not its intended use, but that makes a really good uh, rain hood for the yellow raincoat, so I'm going to take that with me. Oh, and sporty shades. Sporty shades are pretty good. Now I could be an even cooler mayor. <laughs> I think I'll keep my current shades on though, because I prefer those ones.
Yeah, they don't go with the hat as well. That is definitely true. Are those really red? They look more orange to me. Uh, I guess they're a little more red. Oh, we've got to buy them anyway because we're buying everything. Yeah, I love the yellow raincoat. I had a, a female mayor for my previous town and my main outfit for her was the yellow tulip hat with the yellow raincoat with rain boots. It was adorable. I don't think any of these tops except maybe the number one are keepers. Okay, this is all going in the trash. Those are also going in the trash. Keep the flowers. Keep those. And I'll keep the number one tea. The number one tea looks okay. Plus I was meant to be wearing a tea today according to Katrina, so... I can just look a bit extra sporty today. Talk to me, Sable. We've got to be friends so you can give me a mannequin. Okay. Oh hey, it's that crane game that we already have. Oh, and a trash can. That's very useful. I will definitely take the trash can. That's a piece of furniture that actually has a use. And we're gonna sell everything on the bottom row. Well, I, honestly, I use the trash can more for um, items I, that are so cheap I can't be bothered walking over to the shop to sell them. <laughs> Particularly when you start rolling in bells, it stops being worth it to actually take things places. So being able to just dump them in a trash bin is useful. But yes, we do have... Uh, the river's free of garbage now, so... Ooh, is that a Luigi hat? I will wear the Luigi hat instead of my mayor's hat once I'm done with mayoral business. Uh, no, I didn't want to sell. I wanted to... Lucky ticket. Lucky ticket, please. Lucky ticket. Oh, it's not Luigi's hat, it's uh, Zelda. Not Zelda, Link's hat. Oh my gosh, I made the forbidden sin. <laughs> and it also froze my game for a second there. Uh, I'm not sure that's much of an improvement. I think I'd do without Moody Link hair. I will continue to be a happy mayor. Ah, but Necrodancer featuring Hyrule is awesome. I say that as someone who didn't actually play all that much of Crypto the Necrodancer. But maybe a Legend of Zelda theme is enough to get me interested. <laughs> yes, it turns out I'm just a fake Nintendo fan and I don't know the difference between Link and Zelda. No, trust me I do. Slip of the tongue. Gotta alphabetize my shirts, it's very important. 
I have no shades yet. Gonna put these in a better place. And don't really want to put the trash can in my room right now. It's more of the thing I'd leave for a back room. I'll leave it there for now. And I'll keep the Link hat. Sometimes it is nice to be able to cosplay. All right, all that out of the way. Let's go to a summer island. And also plant these flowers. Stick them over here for now. Hello again, Amelia. You go fishing, Amelia. Catch all the loaches you can. Oh, let's also say hello to Nan. Oh, she wants to say hello first. Uh, yes, I will have your flower table. Thank you. I will probably sell it again immediately, but it's one more item on the catalog. I will say as someone who has spent time in places where things are sold, as a shopkeeper, they probably want to move this whiteboard to the back of the room so it doesn't block the view of all the other items. Cause like I can't see the flower table from here properly. Gotta think about your layout. It's important. Okay. Let's go to the island. Hey, Captain. <laughs> it's a dangerous world looking at furniture that could be yours. Sing us a song, Captain. Delightful, Captain, as always. I will say, uh, the Captain remix that's on Smash Brothers is one of my favorite songs ever. Like the high tempo ska version of all of his melodies. It's amazing. What we got in store? Ooh, a nice hat. How much for a nice hat? Hmm. 
15 medals. Okay, well, we're gonna have to play some games today. Because I want that hat. But first, we're gonna do lots of fishing and lots of book catching. And get ourselves some summer encyclopedia items. Very nice. Can't remember if hermit crabs are available in the daytime or if that's only at night. But let's just quickly check all the shells. Ooh, there's a new butterfly. Back butterfly. Again, my giant hat is help is not helping with the uh, catching insects. Oop. Sneaky, sneaky. That's another new beetle. by a fin in the water. It's a hammerhead shark. Hmm, a witchy house. That is a hard sell. Um I don't know if the exotic furniture can be like repainted so the wood is darker. That might fit like a sort of viney witchy house. Like furniture that's made out of roots and vines. It's kinda hard to make dark and gloomy places <laughs> unless you're just going completely custom thumbnails. Well sorry, custom patterns. Finding specifics is hard, that's why I usually would trade online for stuff. Sea bass, you're not interesting. You want interesting fish. Go away. Hmm. 
Nope. How are volume levels sounding, by the way? I never actually asked. Sound okay? That's true, I like this music. It's a good ambiance. Hey, I found Dory! You're either a moray eel or a ribbon eel. Just eat my fishing rod, please. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't quick enough. Yeah, I did see the Toy Story 4 trailer. Looks pretty good. I see a stick inside back there. I'm afraid you're not blending in very well, Mr. Stick Insect. Hmm, let's not scare that fish away. Which one's that? Oh, the zebra turkey fish. I haven't seen the Stranger Things trailer. I actually need to watch Stranger Things. I saw the first couple episodes, but never actually watched the series, so... Same with Sabrina. I, I watched like the first episode of Sabrina, and then never watched the rest of it. Need to catch up on these things. I quite enjoyed the first Sabrina episode, just never actually got around to watching the rest of the season. Hey there, Rogue Gerb. Thanks for coming along. How are you doing? doing pretty well, thank you. Catching a lot of fish, it's my first day on the island. Thank you for the follow as well. This is the first day we've had access to the island, so I am catching as many fish and bugs as I can to fill out the encyclopedia. Hey, Ace Girl. This fish does not want to pay attention to me. Notice me, fish senpai. I, I was watching Star vs. for ages and then never bothered watching the season after the wand blew up. <laughs> and now every time I see stuff about it I'm like, I should probably watch this again. Because nothing I see actually looks familiar to me. The show seems to have changed an awful lot. That's true, Steven Universe is the exact same. 
but uh, I do watch that show religiously, so I'm never out of the loop for long. Quite quick enough on the draw for that eel. Oh, I found Nemo as well. They can be reunited in my pockets. Uh, no, Nemo is now my, now mine. Gonna put him in my fish tank. <laughs> I'll just have to catch him too. He's gotta go to the museum. It's just like the plot of every, um, every Pixar movie put together. Hey, Funzy. <laughs> no, they're going to go to the museum. They'll be well looked after. Assuming Blathers doesn't eat them. That's true, actually. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Blathers will only take Nemo. <laughs> nope. All these fish are a bit too feisty for me to catch right now. You're probably a sea bass though, aren't you? Oh no, you're not. Okay, I thought the thin one was the moray eel. I guess that must be the ribbon eel. Wasn't expecting that to be one of the eels. Olive flounder. You're a boring fish. We don't we don't want boring fish today. Okay, instead of throwing it away, I'll just catch this fish and replace it. Oh, you're also a boring fish. I must let it go. We're all about the Disney movies today. How about you? Okay, I think the ocean is trying to tell me to go put this stuff in the box because I'm getting nothing but pouring fish now. <laughs> An Animal Crossing game with Kingdom Hearts characters would be pretty awesome. Just Animal Crossing, but all the villagers are Disney characters instead. I would be down for that.
fact, I'm kind of surprised they haven't tried to make one of those yet. Maybe we should be, we should be thankful that they didn't, though. <laughs> well, not just that, but I don't think I'd ever see the light of day again if there was an Animal Crossing and Disney game. It's like combining my two favorite things. Uh, C Waffles zero one, thank you for the follow and congratulations on a fantastic username. There seems to be a big delay on my alerts for the video today. I'm not sure what's causing that. But it will pop up eventually. There it is. <laughs> I had that problem when I caught the ore fish the other day. Um, just on my run from like the bottom of my town to the train crossing, I had two villagers like do the stop in your tracks and talk to me thing. And they were like, please give me that ore fish. I'm like, I'm not going to give you my ore fish. I'm never going to catch another one of these. As much as I love you. What's wrong with my bait? Come here. Um, in terms of behind the scene news, by the way, uh, I've managed to get an HDMI capture card working with my system. So sometime in the future, you might be seeing some Switch games on here. Possibly some multiplayer Switch games. Because that would be cool to do on stream. No problem, Sea Waffles. It's always a good time to play Animal Crossing. I've already got you. And I don't exactly need this olive flounder, so that can go in the ocean. Yeah, I think I've already got that beetle. I'll double check though. I'm really only trying to get new fish and bugs today, because I'm going to have so much to put in my box that... Yeah, I've already got him. It's not a lot of point taking duplicates, even if they're expensive ones like the Horn Dynasty. Because we're going to have a bunch of fruit to bring back with us as well. Speaking of, I should probably start shaking some of these coconuts down. It's very good actually that uh, Animal Crossing teaches you the correct way to eat a coconut, which is to go nom 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 and just eat it whole. It's exactly how you prepare a coconut. beach can be a little less empty. Hmm. 
Nice. <laughs> uh, I miss having my old town save that had uh, money coming in from selling an older town. It was nice just never having to worry about paying for stuff. But also there wasn't a lot of reason to play once I had like 20 million in the bank. Are you uh, still paying off houses, uh, Panic Nymph? Or have you got to the final house and that's just money to spend at this point? got a zebra turkey fish. I did. I'll put fruit in this one. And these two can be sold for nothing. That's a nice surprise. Definitely wouldn't complain if I woke up one day and had two million pounds in my bank account. That's pretty cool, Rogurb. I think the when I sold my town, it wasn't like a very long save file I had. I think I got something like 15 or 16 million for it. Like, it's a lot more if you've got a bigger house and a bigger catalogue and more public works. So I'd guess that 41 million was pretty much like a completed town with nothing left to do. <laughs> Okay, uh, there we go. You'll have to excuse me if you suddenly hear a lot of butter mashing noises. I tend to mash the swim button very hard when I'm doing the diving parts. Oh, he went away. Oh, for a big one. <laughs> wow, 41 million without the catalog. That's, that's impressive. Yeah, I don't blame you for not selling the catalog. That's definitely the most annoying part to rebuild. That and the public work projects. I'm not looking forward to having to farm for those for this town. Because I want a police station. That's a fast moving one. Why do you. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Come on. Oh, we just got him. Hey, it's a lobster. Uh, when we're talking about catalog, it's like the list of furniture that you have access to. So all the items you've ever held in your pockets get added to a big long list so you can reorder them. So if you sell your catalog, it means you no longer have access to all the items you've had before in your old save file. So you're truly starting from scratch. I'm gonna throw these back in the ocean because I don't need extra sea urchins. No problem, Alex. Yeah, I try and like plan out my 
public work projects, but it's always like a fluid system. Depends where I've put my pathways and I'll change it around if I put them in the wrong place. You can remove some public work projects. There's not many that stay forever. But you have to pay a fee for it and then spend two days building it again. <laughs> Me neither, Alex. I cannot wait for when Animal Crossing comes to Switch. And thank you for the follow, by the way. Thank you very much, Alex. For some reason my alerts are taking forever to come through, so I'm having to watch my Twitch screen instead of the video feed. There we go. Thank you again, Alex, for the follow. Pokemon Sword and Shield looks awesome. I haven't actually got a Let's Go Pikachu. That one looked pretty cute too, but I was just going to wait for the, the proper Pokemon. Definitely going to play with Sword and Shield. That's a good question for everyone, actually. Uh, if you've seen the three starters from Sword and Shield, who's your favorite? From the fire, water, and grass ones. It's the water lizard thing, the fire rabbit, and the uh, grass monkey. Who's your favorite? Who do you think you're going to pick? Uh, there's a fair few people who stream New Leaf, Alex. Uh, it depends on the time of day. It's definitely not as popular as it used to be, and I've only just started this one. But I think people are getting back into it because uh, people are getting back into it because they're also excited for Animal Crossing Switch. So the hype is real, and it's always nice to come back. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the case for a lot of people. <laughs> uh, I think my favorite of the new Pokemon stars is the Fire Rabbit. He seems to be the least popular from what I've gathered online. Like, I'm a bit worried he is just going to be another fighting type once you get to the final evolution, but I like his sort of chirpiness and... He, he feels like a serial mascot or something, and that that makes me smile. I tend to go for the energetic starters. Uh, I really like Poplio in Sun and Moon. Yeah, he does have a bit of a footballer feel to him. He's at least like some kind of sport mascot, maybe. Uh, get rid of the duplicate. One thing that I'll be doing tomorrow, tomorrow's my day off from streaming, but while I'm away, uh, I'll probably be calling in an amiibo so I can get the 3DS and Wii U that are inside Animal Crossing with the mini games. Because I really want to stream some Puzzle League, because that's my favorite mini game. I wish they still made, like, full puzzle games over here, Puzzle League games. No worries, Alex. I'm often the same. I, t I tend to lurk more than I type. <laughs> no need for a full conversation if you're doing something else or just chilling.
Do I already have a? T I think I already had a tiger prawn in my pocket. Oh, I see more bubbles. <laughs> now I really feel like that Finding Nemo character of the the bubbles, the bubbles, chase the bubbles. Oh, that's a shame, Alex. It's not quite the same without internet connectivity. It's still nice to have your own little town running, but it's definitely a lot more fun when you can connect with other people. Uh, Panic Nymph, there's a good tutorial for a technique on Simply Press Start's channel where you fill your pocket with flowers and go hide in the corner of the map with your wet suit, so hide in the ocean and wait for about five minutes, like go do something else while it's running in the background. And the idea is that when you come back to everybody, they're a lot more likely to do the stop you in your tracks and have a conversation with you. And because your pockets are full with items that they can't steal and they can't give you an item, the only three things they can do is give you a public work project or ask you to change the catchphrase or greeting. So as long as you're lucky, uh, you can get a lot more public work projects that way. It's still a bit tedious, but it's technically a cheat. <laughs> More of an exploit, I guess, rather than cheat. Yeah, the swimsuit's kind of necessary for that one. I think if you... If you give a search on YouTube at some point, there should be a full video explaining all the steps. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a completionist when it comes to the in museum and the encyclopedias. I, I keep an app, actually, that tells me which insects and fish I've still got to catch this month so that I can uh, make sure that I catch them before the season changes and they all disappear. Because it's really annoying realizing that you're like one fish short from a golden rod or something like that. And the only chance to get it will be... 12 months from now. <laughs> oh. There's a beetle over there. I didn't know he could spawn at this time of day. I thought I'd have to wait till 6 o'clock. Come here, my friend. Oh, really? Oh, they're all spawning. More... Beetles for me. Uh, collecting the art is probably the most annoying part, actually. <laughs> uh, putting paths down isn't too difficult, Alex. I can show you when I get back. Actually, can I show you here? Um, from the patterns page, you can put down paths. Oh, they won't let me do it here. But if you're inside your town, there's an option to put it down on the ground when you click on the pattern. And if you don't want to design the patterns yourselves, you can use the QR scanner at uh, the Able Sisters shop once you unlock that. If you keep talking to the the hedgehog in the back of the shop, then eventually she'll give you access to a QR scanner that lets you scan images from the internet so you can just get the paths that way. And there's lots and lots of paths online. It takes maybe about two weeks, I think, of talking to the sister at the back of the clothes shop. Uh, if you talk to her every day, then like it's somewhere between 10 and 14 days, I think, you get access to a QR scanner that lets you import the designs from other people. Or you can visit other people's towns, but you said you're having internet problems, so that probably wouldn't work for you. 
I wasn't expecting all these beetles to be out this time. I thought I had to wait till six, so definitely arrived at the island at the right moment. <laughs> Me neither. Everyone's saying there might be the big reveal of the footage in April. I'm not sure I believe them, but... Yeah, I'll be doing a lot of money farming once I've collected enough stuff on the island. I want to keep all the plants and trees up for now, um, just because there might be some insects I haven't caught yet. But once I know I've got everything, I'll definitely just be trimming this place down and using it as a money farm to collect as many giant beetles as I can so I can pay off everything a lot faster. Okay, uh, one more beetle there. I'm gonna have to go back to the town at this rate. Yeah, I've, I've done that on some of my towns, just like used an old save and gave myself like the golden tools at the start of the game and a few furniture items I wanted. But it's not quite the same when you haven't earned them yourself. So it definitely feels good to start from scratch and get it all the hard way. Oh, come on, Mr. Shark. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. That's great, Alex. I think the best thing about the Switch is that it can technically be put anywhere because it's handheld, so... Great to play on a TV, but I think Animal Crossing is just as great, like, tucked up in bed or... playing on the train. definitely drop in on live streams and talk to other people there. They're often up for visiting. But um, there's also some communities on the internet. Um, Reddit is quite a good place for finding uh, Animal Crossing players. There's a fairly decent sized community there. And they've got some subreddits dedicated to it. And uh, discords as well. That's a good shout. ourselves a lantern fly. Tiny fish. Oh, here we found Marlin. But we don't need you, Marlin, so back to the ocean you go. Finding Nemo ended with Marlin being caught by a fisherman with a giant green hat. 
and then just being thrown back in the ocean. That would be a bit of a downer. Already got the long locust, apparently. What about you? Guess I'll never know if I needed that guy. Already got that stick insect, so you can go away. Yeah. Thought that was a new one. Ooh, <laughs> that's rough, Alex. I'm thankful to be at a place in my life when I don't have exams. I've put them all behind me at this point. The ribbon fish we keep missing. Ah, thumb slipped on it. I don't have a Discord at the moment. I might end up setting one up, but I've only just started being on Twitch, so. I'm gonna wait a while, it's not really something I'm very familiar with myself, so. But I think there are some Animal Crossing dedicated ones that are always welcome for new people. Oh, we've already got that shark, but we'll keep him anyway because he's worth money. That's alright Alex, thank you. I, I do know the, the basics of setting one up. It's mainly just like, I don't think I'm ready to start with them just yet. <laughs> it's a commitment. Yeah, there's quite a bit of like software and hardware you need to get a good stream going. In my case, I was kind of lucky because a lot of the stuff that I needed I already had from previous projects, so... Like, I've already got a decent microphone because I used to record music back in the day, so... I just reused that. And I got a gaming PC, so... That can run all the streaming software just fine. <laughs> That's true, Alex, you did say that. No worries, though. That's a fair point. It is easy to get distracted when <laughs> there's revision on the table. Uh, Nintendo Switch isn't too hard to set up. Um, as far as I remember, it pretty much auto-updates all its software, so I think I just got mine out of the box and it was pretty much ready to play. 
And if you want to stream it, as long as you've got a capture card that can handle HDMI, uh, then that's also not too difficult. You just need the right hardware to capture the HDMI image. But that by itself is a bit expensive, so... I'm gonna head back to town just now, I think, and... Send all of these insects and fish over to the museum, which is gonna take a while, but... I uh, tell you what, I'm just gonna skip this song, I think. Sorry, he's not singing while I'm talking. There we go. Yeah, I mean, Nintendo got me pretty early because I really wanted uh, Zelda and Mario, and they both came out in the first year, so I was there straight away. <laughs> But it's always a good idea to wait until there's games you actually want to play, because otherwise you're just buying a big expensive console for no reason. Uh, what I'm gonna do while I'm transferring all these things is open up a raffle thing. Uh, essentially, uh, if you're in chat, then you can just drop the command exclamation part yeah, exclamation mark raffle uh, and if you get picked as the winner then you get to choose the new villager we're gonna move into the town uh, I've got all the amiibo cards that are available so just type exclamation mark raffle and then have a think about what villager you might want to move in and if you win then we'll scan your villager and they'll be the next villager in the town Yeah, we'll be scanning the villager once the raffle ends. And I'll change the title of the video actually just so it's saying that as well So all you have to do is type exclamation mark raffle in chat. And if you get picked at the end of the raffle, then uh, your choice of villager for the next person who moves into Pinewood, our little town here. Yep, just like that. Yep, but we'll wait until the raffle's closed and we'll see who wins. Oh, I missed an insect there. And including that butterfly, there we go. Yeah, the downside of doing this before I've built my second bridge is that it takes forever to run between the top of the town and the bottom of the town. 
Well, I guess it's not that much quicker, actually. But... Yeah, we started this town on Sunday, so this is day four. So we still don't have some of the basic tools like the axe or... Um, we only just got the slingshot today. And there's still a lot to do in terms of catching things for our encyclopedias. But it's fun to start back from scratch. Okay, that's everything for bloods. Oh yeah, that fish was a duplicate. I can go sell him. That's great. So I'm going to go down to the beach and plant these coconut trees, uh, and I think when I'm done with that then uh, whoever wins the raffle will get to pick our new villager to enter into the town. So just again, if you want to enter the raffle, then just type in exclamation mark and raffle into the chat. Hi there, the Creeper. Yeah, I probably should. Sometimes I just can't be bothered to go all the way <laughs> down to the town. It's a bad habit that I picked up from other playthroughs where money wasn't quite so important. But I didn't want to have to go down all the way to my other bridge. Oh, um, funny story. Uh, when, when the balloon comes to this cliff that I'm standing next to, you can hit it with the net, the uh, bug net. And it turns out I managed to hit so many of the balloons down that way that I unlocked the silver slingshot without needing to buy the normal slingshot. Didn't actually know that was possible, but I managed to do it, so... Uh, I haven't actually picked up those coconuts, so I don't know why I'm digging holes, because the coconuts are still by the dock. <laughs> I was going to plant coconuts, but um, I forgot to bring the coconuts. That wasn't very smart. Uh, the Creeper, you're just in time for our raffle, so if you want to have a chance at choosing the next villager that we move into this town, then you can just type exclamation mark raffle into the chat. And that way, 
Uh, you might be able to choose who is next to join our little Pinewood village here. <laughs> that does sound like something I'd do, Alex. It's very true. on the rock, but I'll parkour over it instead. I do have the watering can, yes. I um, I keep it in my letters because I got a beautiful town so I never need to water wilted plants. So I just keep it out of my pockets that way, just so it's not taking up an extra space. A uh, beautiful town. Um, when I say beautiful town, I mean uh, it's the town ordinance that I chose uh, when I started becoming mayor. Uh, it just means that the flowers don't wilt at any point and you don't have to pick up any weeds. It's the easiest way to keep the town looking nice if you're not going to be like wanting to do lots of gardening all the time. This one might not grow in this spot, but I'll put it there anyway. <laughs> no worries, Alex. Who even knows if it'll be in the Switch game anyway? I think they disappear at night though, don't they? I might be wrong. I thought the weeds could appear for a day, but then they would get plucked automatically if you didn't pluck them. That might be incorrect, though. Yeah, there's no cockroaches in your house either. I'm not going to put that there, it's just going to block me. So one more time for anyone who might have just joined us or was away when I said it previous time. Uh, we're going to be scanning an amiibo soon to put the next villager into our town. And if you want the chance to choose that villager, because I have all of the possible options, then type exclamation mark raffle into the chat. And that way you'll be entered into the giveaway to choose the next villager of our town. I do have the Senrio cards available, yeah. I've got an entire folder with the Amiibos in it, because I'm on emulator, I don't need the physical card, I can just use a digital file. <laughs> I do own some of the cards, not the Sanrio ones though. Sanrio ones are super rare. Those are the Hello Kitty company ones. They're really hard to get hold of. 
and they're super expensive to buy them. Uh, I'll show you in a second, Alex. Once we once we get to the end of the raffle time, then uh, you you're meant to buy them in shops. That's most of them are out of print now, I think. So it's only like eBay, but they're like they're physical like trading cards almost that you can scan with your QR scanner and activate them like an amiibo. That's fine, Webs. <laughs> I think I got like five or six packs of them. And I also made some of my own because I have uh, a phone that has a QR scanner on it so I could technically write them to blank cards. So I did that a bit as well. But now I'm running out on emulator, I don't need to do that intermediary step. <laughs> That's true, Webs. Okay, I think that's enough coconuts on the beach for now. So last shout for the raffle, I will close it in about 30 seconds. So if you want to enter the raffle, now's the time. Exclamation mark raffle in the chat. Otherwise, no complaints. Okay, I'm going to close the raffle now. And the person picking our new villager is... Panic Nymph. So Panic Nymph, if you're still in the chat, then type the name of the villager that you want to uh, appear in the town. No worries, if you want to Google it on the wiki, that's fine, because I'll be doing the same. <laughs> yeah, the, the automated message maybe isn't the clearest. It should probably have a... <laughs> Have the username a little clearer on it. Yeah, I might see if I can change that message so it's a little clearer. No worries, Panic Nymph. Uh, we don't really know a lot about the next Animal Crossing yet, Alex, so... Uh, we don't really know how much it's going to be like New Leaf or if it's going to be a lot of new stuff. And they, have, they haven't really told us anything other than it's coming out this year. Probably hear about it at E3, if not before then. Yeah, it'd probably be the same animals. They usually keep all the villagers and then add a couple more. Bow. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see if I can find the... Number for Bo. Ah, uh, Bo is a good one. Yep, okay. Let's 
So with the amiibo cards, if you talk to Wisp inside the lamp, uh, he asks you to scan a card or an amiibo figure so he can summon someone to your town. And if you summon a villager card from the trading packs, then you can ask them to move in permanently. And it's pretty much the only way you can specifically ask for a villager to appear in your town. Uh, I just uh, searched the wiki, Alex, uh, the Animal Crossing wiki. There we go, it's Bo. Bo is a sweetheart. <laughs> Move here, please, Bo. I do have Animal Crossing amiibo figures. Uh, I bought a bunch of them when they went on super sale after... Oh, no worries, Alex. Uh, after the amiibo was kind of tanked with that Wii U game, uh, I bought the Isabel and the Digby ones that came with the game, and I've got KK Slider. And that might be it. I don't actually remember. My amiibo's in the other room, so. <laughs> but I've, I've at least got those three. I might have one more, but I don't remember. The Isabel one is very cute, though. So Bo will be starting to move in tomorrow, and then he'll be here permanently on Friday. I might have done webs, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> Don't know if I could find that again. And uh, now we've got some meow coupons. Uh, oop, going the wrong way. Then I'll have a look at what's inside the RV camp and see if there's anything worth buying. Oh, we've got Jack the Halloween guy. <laughs> who was it earlier who was saying they wanted witchy furniture? This seems like a good place to take inspiration from. <laughs> I thought it was you, Pennington. Well, if you want a collection of creepy skeleton. Uh, jack-o'-lanterns, then waiting for Jack's RV is not a bad idea. Plus you get to have pumpkin pie. That's actually a really creepy wallpaper. I didn't realize it was a bunch of like ghost hands. I thought that was just like grass or something. That's cool. Oh, feel free to post the link to that image then, Webs, if you've got it in the browser. Yeah, that's... let me double check. Yeah, that's my full collection of actual amiibo figures that I have. Not a lot of Animal Crossing ones. Oh, I've got the Animal Crossing Villager as well from Smash Brothers. But probably too many amiibo in total. <laughs> okay, uh, should I plant these gerians right now? Or should I put them in safe place until I know where I want to put trees? I think I'm going to go put them in a safe place. And then I'll head on back to the island and try and catch some more stuff. And maybe do a few tours. It's true, amiibo are smaller and probably cheaper than collectible dolls. I 
I'm getting caught on the tree. Oh, I don't know if I've got that butterfly. Come here. Ah, a new butterfly. Don't think that's true with that creeper. <laughs> Let's skip the song though. <laughs> Hi there, panic prone. Thanks for coming along to the stream. I'm not usually that picky about the design of swimsuit. I just want a swimsuit. So I'll definitely be checking here every day. Uh, I do also want that hat though, so... Was it 15 we needed? Yeah. I might at least do a few tours to get 15 medals. Ah, uh, balloon hunt. Balloon hunt's nice and easy. Oh, that's awful, Panic Nymph. <laughs> that's really frustrating. Hey, Panic Prone. Twenty points in five minutes. I think we'll be getting a lot more than twenty. Fortunately, well, I don't think there's any fruit in this particular um, thing. I should have got a net. I could have caught a few extra. Insects. Uh, it's not quite a horror game, Animal Crossing, but sometimes it gets close. <laughs> At least when the tarantulas come out.
Animal Crossing is the best. Probably my favorite game series ever. There might be individual games that I like a bit better, but I don't think there's any series overall that's held me for quite as long as Animal Crossing has. Ooh, there's a bonus balloon over there. I feel like panic is a good word for this particular minigame. Gotta get that dragonfly. Where's my bunny balloons? I need bunny balloons. Scared the mantis away. I'm sorry, mantis. Get yeah, that bunny balloon. We got it. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that balloon appear out of nowhere in the middle of the sky. I don't think we needed that butterfly, but might as well catch it. really hate balloons. I do. I hate them with a burning passion. Ah, uh, Fatal Frame is too spooky for me. I don't do well with horror games in general. <laughs> Wants a scavenger tour. I think that's the one where you have to go look in rooms. In which case, we shall do that one and find out. That's fair, Panic Prone. I, I do watch a few horror streams, and I, I actually often watch horror speedruns because I like the idea of taking something scary and then like entirely breaking it and just ignoring every scare, just running straight past them as fast as possible.
hunting for furniture. Okay, what are we looking for? Regal sofa, space heater, blue table. Looks like a regal sofa to me. It is. Space heater and blue table still to go. Yeah, that, that is a cool looking sword, I will admit. And none of these either. Although I want that hi-fi. That's a good hi-fi. Good TV too. Whoever's room that is, they've got all the necessities. I'm gonna have to go down to that one house that isn't near any of those. Blue table. Just need the space eater. Space heater to me. That's a really nice uh, blocky furniture. I know I don't need it, but CD shelf. Okay. I don't mind killing flowers if it's a mini game island that will never exist after I leave it. Yeah, I have a I have a modded 3DS as well. That's how I got my files onto this emulator. Useful for save backups as well. Aww, sorry to see you go, Panic Prone. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for coming along. It's finally time to start wearing my uh, big hat. Uh, I've only been streaming since uh, Sunday, but I have been playing Animal Crossing almost exclusively, so I've got a temporary schedule down below the video. Uh, I'm due to play Animal Crossing a bit on Friday and probably a lot on Saturday. Uh, whatever we play on Friday is up to the results of that poll. At the moment, I think Zelda is winning. Thank you for the follow, Panic Prone. Hope to see you again. Creepire as well. Thank you for the follow. See you, Panic Prone. Did 
that a new bug or is this an old bug? feeling that I'm gonna have to clear off some of this stuff. Tell you what, I'm just gonna bring all these flowers with me back home. Oh, except that flower. <laughs> Never mind about that flower. It can die. keep the, uh, the new insects separate from the old insects so that I don't sell anything that I want to send to the museum. And then I think we're gonna have to vandalize this island. Apologies to Kevin. These are really nice bushes, but unfortunately they can't stay because they attract butterflies that we don't want to attract. I might keep one of them around just for now. Get rid of the trees as well. I'll keep one tree. I'm not sure if, if I've caught anything, like, or everything I need to, so I'm going to keep one of each just so. If things do spawn, it's easy enough to throw them away or scare them off rather. And I'm going to pick up all the shells and sell them so I don't get distracted by... Oh, hang on. There's that ribbon fish again. Nope. He's too quick on the draw. I think technically 7 o'clock is the right time to be here for doing maximum money because you get grasshoppers still at this time. I'm guessing that needs Celeste's amiibo.
Ah, that was the super expensive one. Didn't see it until it was too late. Ah, well, that's an issue. <laughs> I'm lucky enough to have one of the 3DS's that has the amiibo functionality just built into it on the touch screen. So I don't have to try and fiddle around with that scanning accessory. Big fish keep getting away from me. Oh, I didn't notice that he was there. Maybe I should stop running about. Gonna miss all of the beetles. Don't need you. There's one I don't think I have. Maybe? Don't actually remember. No, I already had him. But he's worth a lot of money. I've already got you too, but you're worth even more money, so... Gotcha. Get out of here, insects. We don't want your kind here. Or you. I like that the stick insect doesn't fly away, he just blends into the tree. It's like, I'm not here. You can no longer catch me. the stumps around. Thank you, Mr. Longhorn Beetle.
Sorry about that, just filling with some settings behind the scenes. Oh, don't think I've got you yet. This is an awkward angle. We still got him. Good, because the quicker we can get these uh, big expensive beetles in our encyclopedia, the quicker I can start selling the extra ones for big money. Which we can then spend on our big bridge. Exactly. Uh, that was a bit of a tough ask, that one. Oh, but he gives a second try. That's a little bit. <laughs> A little bit presumptuous of me to think that he'd stay when I skidded him like that. Gonna have to keep just hoping that they'll bite when I press A. Expensive insects gone. Oh, I didn't realize that was a new beetle. I thought that was the same one we'd already caught. The uh, tree ones look kind of too similar in the island. They're all just brown beetles. Okay, so these ones are the new guys. And then bring it up the rear. These guys, except the sea bass, he's not being put in the box, he's not worth it. You can always take a measuring tape to it, webs.
we got a shark. Let's see if we can catch him. Come on, Mr. Shark. <laughs> there we go. Nope. Got too excited. I spy an expensive beetle, though. These locusts and grasshoppers are a real pain to try and get rid of when they're bouncing about. I wish you could scare them away more easily. Get out of here. Uh, Chaco Lao Lao, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. We're just trying to catch as many insects as we can right now. So we can sell them for big bells. If I was an animal in Animal Crossing, what animal would I be? That's a good question. Um, I would probably be a duck. Because I think they're just the right amount of goofy, while also maybe a little bit cute, but in a mostly goofy way. for new. I mean, if I could be any animal on the planet, I'd probably be a giraffe or something. Because that's suitably tall and spindly. I guess there is already a giraffe in Animal Crossing because Gracie is a giraffe. I won't put you through another song. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to take a quick break to go refill my water bottle and stretch my legs.
So if you've been sat at your computer and haven't done the same, then now would be a good time to do so. Uh, I'll be back in just about five minutes or so. Uh, until then, I'll leave you in good care of the background music and the ocean waves on the beach. And I'll see you in just a minute.
All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, hello to Senpai Puppy, and thank you for the follow while I was away. Very kind of you. I'm gonna go drop off these at the museum. And the rest is just sell. Out the way, Moose. Oh, hello, Flora. I just took a rest, don't worry. Oh, Flora needs fruit. I'll go grab you an apple. I think our apple trees have regrown since the first day, so... Plenty of apples around for the picking. Where'd you go, Flora? There you are. Now, if I was being really cruel, I could technically give her a butterfly or a horrible beetle or something. But I'd like to give those to the museum. And why would we be so mean to lovely Flora? Ooh, a cheese floor. I have no use for that, but thank you for cheese. to donate a lot of stuff to the museum today. I don't know if the rest of the insects we managed to catch will actually be enough to put us over to finishing the bridge. I don't think it will, but it should get us at least halfway. Which is good. And the cheese floor I'm selling. So leave that in my pockets. What's up, Moose? Oh, I'll take a school jacket, sure. Thank you very much. It's not <laughs> not very normal for me to be uh, excited about having school uniform, but I will make an exception. That looks pretty sharp, actually. 
think I'll keep that on. if there's enough room in my letter compartment for me to... Yeah, there is. Okay. I'll stick those in there for now. And haul the rest of the bugs over to retail. Bugs must go. But not that t shirt. Whoa, okay, 83,000, that might just be enough. Oh, we're 5,000 short. Okay. A little more collecting, and then I think we'll be good. function there but we seem to be okay. Maybe let's just save and continue. Don't want any glitches to ruin our progress. Why don't you want to play along, Mr. Fish? How about you? Ah, it's our good friend the loach, which means we have to increase the loach counter. Apparently the loach counter doesn't want to go up. Hey again, Alex. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely getting to that time of year. counter isn't working maybe now there we go got to keep track of our infestation of loaches
Come on, fish. It's another loach. I just need to stop fishing on this corner of the river. We get so many loaches. Now we get to the 7pm music, which is probably my favourite music when it's not raining or snowing. Something about the 7pm music is just right. So of course I'm interrupting it with my uh, <laughs> fish pulling. Nothing but loaches today. That might have been the fish that keeps ignoring my bites. I watered that plant. That's okay. Take all my loaches and sea bass, please. I have no need of them. That wasn't a lot of money. It's open for a little more than that.
Hey, Flora. What's up? Hmm. Well, I wasn't gonna wear it anyway, so... I guess you can take my t-shirt. If it makes you a bit more friendly towards me, I will accept that trade. I should just stop fishing in this river. Too many loaches. Let's go back to the ocean where there are no loaches. Oh, I hear a balloon. balloon we actually shot down properly. It's a balloon dresser. I feel like all we're catching right now is loaches and sea bass. And I don't want either of those. I want things they're gonna get me some money.
Oh, Amelia, I'm sorry I pressed A before I realized you were trying to talk to me. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take back some of these items and sell them. That's not the one I wanted. Because we're almost right there at the amount of money we need. to pay off the second bridge of our town, which should hopefully make getting around a little bit easier. So I think with that bridge paid off now, I think I'm going to call it a day there. So thank you to everyone who came along today. Uh, if you haven't had the chance yet, if you're on desktop, you should be able to scroll down below the video and there's a poll there for which game I'm going to be playing on Friday. Um, I'm planning to start that new game probably around 4pm uh, UK time. Um, so if you want to stick around for the next stream, that'll be on Friday. I'm going to take a day off tomorrow. Uh, so feel free to give me a follow. Uh, I'm also think I'm going to throw you guys over to someone else who's streaming some Animal Crossing. Uh, I'll probably send you over to Mikachu because she's just started streaming. So thank you very much everyone for coming along. And I'll see you again next time.